Okay, so let's look at some slightly more complicated examples, position time to velocity time. Okay, we still look at the slope. So we start here with a negative slope, large, steep negative slope. Here I go to a slope of zero, and here I go to a positive slope. So I got to start with a negative velocity. By the time I reach this position, I'm going to be a velocity of zero. I've crossed the, the axis, and here I'm going to be positive. Um, and this one, I start positive, I decrease to flat to zero, and then I get more negative. So instead of increasing, I'm starting positive. Here I'm at a velocity of zero, and I'm decreasing, I'm getting more negative. So I'm going to be downward sloping like that. Now in this one, I start with a slope that's flat, and it gets steeper in the positive direction between here and here. So I start at zero, I get more positive, and then I go back to zero. So I got to end at zero. So in this first part of the segment, I'm increasing my velocity. So I'm going to increase it to here. But then from here onward, I'm going back towards the velocity of zero. So I'm decreasing. So it's going to look like uh, a triangle such as that. I start flat, now I decrease in the negative direction. So I start velocity of zero, slope is zero. I get negative to this point. But then my slope continues to flatten out back towards zero. So in this case, I'm decreasing in velocity, getting faster in the negative direction, and then getting back towards zero. So slowing down from the negative direction back to zero. All right, and this one down here, I start now with a positive slope. At this point, I tend to flatten out and then go back to a positive slope. So it's like I'm slowing down for a little, then I'm speeding back up. So I start up here as positive velocity. Let's just say this flattens out. So by here, I've slowed down and lost all my speed, but then I'm going back into the increasing positive direction, so I'm speeding back up again. Here, now I've got a negative velocity, a steep negative slope. Now when I get to the middle here, I don't really flatten out, so I'm never really uh, slowing down to a stop. So I'm going to... My slope is getting less and less steep, so it's getting less and less negative my velocity. So I'm making my way towards zero, but I never quite get there. I'm going to stop a little bit short. I still have a decreasing negative slope at this point. And then I go back to increasing in the downward negative direction. So I'm going to go back. So notice, I never flatten out. It's always a decreasing slope. It's getting uh, less steep and then steeper. So less negative and then more negative. Okay, back to here. Start with a positive velocity. And again, it never really flattens out, so I never stop. And then I go back to being more positive. So from here to here, I'm decreasing my slope, but not quite to zero. And then I'm increasing my slope again. And then this last one, I start pretty flat, so let's say a velocity of zero. I'm decreasing in the negative direction, so I get pretty negative. And then I go back to a slope of zero, so I'm increasing back to uh, the velocity of zero. So there's some more complex uh, examples. The, the important part is when the graph changes, uh, wherever there's like a segment, let's say, where, where you can kind of cut it up and break it into its small chunks, just ask yourself what's happening at the beginning and the end, and use that, use the slope of that uh, to determine uh, how your velocity is changing, what it starts at, what it finishes at, and what's it's, what it's doing in between. All right, we're going to give you some sample problems here for you to practice. So what I want you to do with these is take your six position time graphs to the left, 
and I want you to match the velocity time graph uh, that corresponds to those position time graphs. So why don't you pause the video for a second, copy those down, and match them up. Okay, uh, here are your answers. Uh, one thing I want you to notice is that 1 in 6, uh, the velocity time graph is the same. Uh, it's D in both cases, constant negative velocity. Because the only thing that matters from my position time graph is not where my position is, but how my position is changing. So I could be you know, in a positive position getting more negative, going back to my origin. Or I could be in the negative direction getting farther away from my origin. As long as the slope's the same, the velocity time graph is the same.